everyone this is ASM Arif today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today I will show you how to change the background or blur the background of your photo this one is an outdoor portrait of our cricket team uh, leader and uh, the captain the Masha film with Matuja and this photo taken by Jubair bin Iqbal brother and I'm doing the editing okay then i'm just opening up and at first it will open in a camera or filter and all the properties uh, all the show this image image and then open the image after opening up the image you have to make a copy this image in another layer by pressing ctrl j and after that i'll select the photo by using the pen tool okay i'm going forward Okay, I am selected all the uh, photo, all over the photo, and just make selection. Make it zero and hit OK. It will just select all the areas, and after that, okay, I take the lasso tool and press the minus button. That means the alter button, and just draw the area. You have to draw at a time. Okay, press Ctrl Z and just press the minus button. And when you are drawing here, just be careful, just because of you are selecting the area of uh, important section. Be careful when you are drawing here. select it and after that uh, go to the selection and press the shift button and hold it and select and mask option okay the full image is good okay press the minus options okay uh, this image nicely selected okay select this one and hit okay this one is the image okay okay after that select this image and the, the white options and just turn it off select this layer go to the selection and uh, go to the modify and expand make it 30 and hit ok and go to the edit and fill and content error and hit ok okay uh, the photo gone and I'm just turn off the mask and I'll take this layer after taking this layer go to the filter and blur gallery and take the tile sheet option tile sheet option okay just make it to the okay and just make it blur to make it and hit ok this um, this extra blur will give you the nice feel of this photo ok and after that make a group all the layers and make a merge make it merge and go to the filter then camera or filter after make, making this just 
I'll edit the basic color correction of this one. I'm just adding some vignette and making this one like that. A nice thing. And go to the basic options and just highlight. It is the highlight. Add some shadow. Add some contrast. Add some exposure. And again, after that, give some clarity and amount of sharpness and the luminance also and then I'll reduce the green luminance yellow luminance also and add some orange luminance orange is basically the uh, color of skin I'm reducing the orange and add some red and give some blue I'll reduce the blue blue luminance for the okay that's good it's making it dramatic okay after that uh, go to the hue and just make it blue like that okay hit okay okay uh, let's see what was the previous image dull picture I think okay this one is uh, just dramatic picture okay. and after that I'll go to the color lookup and add the horror blue color and I'll reduce the opacity I'll make it only 12% and after that I'll go to the gradient map and I'll just add the violet orange gradient and make it the soft light and reduce the fill like 16 14 percent okay that's good one thing is that let's see uh, the light is coming from this side this left uh, right side and that's why I will go to the place embedded option and add light from here which is this one and hit ok and just rotate this one and hit ok after that I will go to the blur option uh, before that make it the visualize layer and I will go to the filter blur gallery and the, sorry the blur option and Gaussian blur and make it more Gaussian blur like that and hit ok make it skin that's good or i have another way i'm just deleting this one i'll go take a blank layer and go to the brush option i have some light brush mm, where is the light brush okay okay this one is the light brush I'll take the thinner light brush like that okay making first white then use this one uh, I should take the okay this one is good and change the direction of the light and make it bigger by pressing third bracket closing and this one okay this one is too much sharp then I'll go to the filter and make it the blur option and Gaussian blur okay this one is blurry and reduce the opacity and make a group of all the layers and make it merge after that go to the filter and the nick collection before that I have to do something Okay, make a, another copy by pressing Ctrl J and I'll go to the tool which is the blood tool and just blur some area. Okay, before that, just make it 50%. Okay. I'll do blur 
the area of the face which is the face skin okay basically it will just give the picture is uh, nice okay. Okay. that's good and make it group by pressing control G make it march and after that go to the filter and google nick collection and color effects pro and color effects pro is loading and in the meantime we are waiting for that okay here is some amazing filters and which filter i should add let's see This filter is nice and hit okay. Click the OK button. And go to the level. and go to the gradient add the gradient last one and make it okay that's good and make all the layers group and make it merge okay let's see what was the previous and the last image and the this one is our last image the raw image and this one is our edited image okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend and till the next video i am asmr signing out and bye bye